Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. Have you ever been watching HD content of hundreds of thousands of birds flying across your 1080p screen in full HD and found that you experienced lagging or stuttering or otherwise uneven playback? Well, so have we, and that's actually why today's NCIX Tech Tips episode is, is going to be about a very cool little device called the Zotac Z-Box Nano. This is an AMD Fusion APU-based mini PC that is the size of the palm of your hand and features enough horsepower to run very high bitrate content or even a full Windows operating system should you see fit. Now, I showed you the size of the Zotac AD10 already, but let's talk a little bit about the technical specifications before we get too much further in. So you saw what it's capable of, but under the hood, this little guy has an AMD APU, so that is a dual core 1.6 gigahertz CPU with a discrete level AMD HD 6310 graphics core that is also built into it, which is capable of accelerating low level games as well as high bitrate 1080p content. Now this guy right here is available in a couple of different configurations, so you can get it with a hard drive and RAM pre-installed, or you can buy a bare bones, and then all you have to add is your own memory, hard drive, and or SSD, if you're gonna run something like XBMC, more on that later. And an, oper and an operating system. Okay, so let's have a look at what we've got in terms of the close-ups here. So we, on the front of the unit, we see we have a power button, our indicator LEDs, the infrared receiver for the included Windows Media Center remote, and then we've also got an SDHC reader, headphone port, as well as a microphone port. Moving along to the side here, you see an exhaust vent, so that's where the cooling is gonna happen. It's not a passively cooled unit, is it? it is an actively cooled unit, but it stays fairly quiet and it doesn't get that hot due to the aluminum construction. The top and the bottom are made of plastic, but the middle part is aluminum, so that acts as a heat sink. On the back, we have a ton of different input and output options, including our power in, display port out, HDMI out, USB super speed three, Gigabit Ethernet, a Kensington lock, regular USB 2, eSATA, our intake vent, as well as our Wi-Fi antenna. So you can use this not only in a media center application like we're going to be showing you today, but also as a full-fledged PC. If you're going to use it as a PC or as a media center device, you might want to use this included vase mount. It goes on either the back of a TV or on a monitor, and without any additional tools other than a screwdriver, you can easily mount your AD10 on the back of your display. So we looked at the hardware, now let's have a look at the software we're going to be using. Since this is a fully fledged x86 PC, it is capable of running Windows Media Center or pretty much any software you want to throw at it, but what we're going to be using today is XBMC. So in the implementation that I would imagine a lot of people would be using with a device like this, you'll be using your Visa mount, you'll be putting that on the back of your TV, and then yeah, I showed you guys that IR receiver in the front of the unit, so how are you going to use it? Well. It includes an extension cable, so you can go ahead, take this, stick it with double-sided tape to the side or the back of your TV, hide it somewhere subtle, and you can use that as the IR receiver for the included remote, which also happens to be fully compatible out of the box with XBMC. So let's have a look at XBMC. I actually have a lot of coworkers that have just ranted and raved about this software. It's a very smooth navigation experience, and it does a great job of creating thumbnails as well as even with some of the plugins you can get, loading up album art or uh, covers and synopses of various movies, things like that. The navigation, like I said, is incredibly slick and it is highly customizable. Another thing that's really cool about XBMC is that it's capable of playing anything over a network, anything locally, so loading it onto a device like this is the perfect use of a very cool piece of software such as this one right here. Yet another cool thing about XBMC is we have it installed on top of Windows and then there we go. 
we have Windows installed on a hard drive on the PC, but you actually have the option of installing it off a USB key, or running it from a USB key, or even running it off of a live CD, which is very, very cool. So we've got Big Buck Bunny here, which is a 1080p file. I'm gonna go ahead and just show you guys the power of this hardware. So we're running this 1080p file in 2x now. You can see it is still 100% smooth. There are absolutely no dropped frames and no skipping about. If I go into 4x fast forward, you can see we're still fairly smooth. You are able to easily navigate through a 1080p file even running at 4x. I'm going to go ahead and step it up to 8x so you can see now in spite of the fact that it jumps forward quite quickly it is still again quite smooth indeed. Now that's not nearly as impressive stop as the bird file that I showed you guys before. So this is a 1.5 megabit file. We're going to get that running there. So this is a 100 meg file that's only a few seconds of footage. Very, very cool stuff. Very powerful hardware that Zotac's put in here. Which brings me to kind of my final point. I wouldn't normally think Zotac when I think PC. I would go more like graphics cards. Or for a PC, I might think of Acer. But what they've done here with their mini box, in this case their Z-Box Nano, is they've delivered something that's quite unique in the market. So they've taken AMD's APU, they've put it in a tiny little box, and then they've given the user a lot of choice. You're not tied down to an operating system, you're not stuck paying for an operating system, none of them come with an OS. You're also given the option to either buy it with a hard drive, a two and a half inch drive, and a sodium memory stick included, or you can buy it without. You can pick whatever you want, and in the process, you might even get a better deal. And I think that between this and their other offerings, there's some very cool stuff to be done here. So thank you for checking out this little showcase of the ZBox Nano AD10. Don't forget to subscribe to NCIX Tech Tips.